I'm Glenn Campbell, the author of The Case Against Marriage. One of the questions I often hear in support of marriage is, who will take care of me? In other words, if I get ill, if I become incapacitated or get old, if I'm not married, who will take care of me? This question has many aspects, but let's just look at marriage itself. Why do you need the contract of marriage to assure this? Isn't anyone in any committed relationship where two people truly care about each other, aren't they going to come to each other's aid? There are gay couples who have been living together for 20 years without the benefits of the institution of marriage. If one of them were to get sick, wouldn't the other one do everything they can to help that person? What difference does the contract make? As I point out in my book, the only difference in, in getting married, the only legal distinction in getting married is that you've combined your assets and liabilities into one pot, which is kind of different than mutual aid. If, if, you divide, if you've uh, combined all your assets, then yes, you're obligated to help the other person because you're in the same financial boat as the other person but you don't really have any different feelings for that other person if you're married or not married. So the, the real contract has no, no real effect on whether you're gonna help someone or not. However, it does have a detrimental effect on your long-term financial liability that could actually make things very complicated. Here's an illustration. Let's say I get cancer and I'm hospitalized and I max out my insurance policy and I start racking up these enormous hospital bills. Not only are those my bills, but because we've combined ourselves in marriage, these bills are the responsibility of my spouse as well. So even if I die, my spouse is still responsible for those medical bills that I racked up. That's, that's what they don't tell you about marriage. You're not just combining your assets, you're combining your liabilities. So an illness that strikes one is going to strike the other financially. If you were not married to your partner and you got ill, your partner could help you in any way that they chose, but they would not bear the liability, the financial liability for your illness, which is an important distinction. You know. Um, it, it, it could make a lot of difference in the long run because if you're going to be together for life then one of you is going to die first and one of you is going to rack up these enormous bills that might not necessarily you might not necessarily want to pass on to the other person so marriage is actually going to hurt things but let, let's set the, the let's set the institution of marriage aside and let's just talk about long-term relationships because I think when people are asking who will take care of me, they're really talking about a relationship. If I'm single, I'm gonna die alone. If I'm single and I get sick, no one's gonna take care of me. But if I'm in a relationship, then we can share, then we can, uh, it's sort of a mutual aid agreement. I'll take care of you when you get sick, you take care of me when I get sick. It's kind of like an insurance policy. The thing is, you're not really making a net profit in this deal. Yes, there's somebody to take care of you, but there's a 50-50 chance that other person is going to be the sick one. You're going to be taking care of them. There's a 50-50 chance that the other person is going to die first, in which case you're still dying alone and you still got no one to take care of you in your final days. So, Yes, it's frightening to die alone, but you're not making a net profit on the deal by combining your resources with another person. It, it, it's, it's like any insurance policy, you're paying a premium to get the coverage. And in, in the net, you're not getting more coverage. You're not getting any more guarantees than you had before. Furthermore, you're entering into a sort of communistic system. I'll take care of you when you get sick, you take care of me when I get sick, I'll contribute what I can, you contribute what you can, everybody lives happily ever after. What's wrong with the system under communism? The problem is, is that 
when you combine your fate with someone else's, you've distributed responsibility for your own actions. What this means in effect is that people get sicker. There are more needs in a communistic system than there are when people are responsible for themselves. If you've got someone you know you can fall back on, you're not going to make the sacrifices and compromises necessary to take care of yourself because you know you can always fall back on that other person. So what, what you get when you combine yourself, your assets with someone else, is you get less responsibility and more dysfunction that needs to be taken care of. The fact is, we're all going to die alone. If you have a lifelong partner, there's 50-50 chance you're gonna, they're gonna pass before you and you die alone. Life is a risky proposition. There's all sorts of dangers out there. You're gonna get old, you're gonna die. You need to prepare for that. And preparing for it isn't necessarily joining with another person. It is looking at your own self, your own needs, your own life, and prepare, looking forward and preparing for that. You prepare for death. You prepare for your final illness with insurance, with a retirement plan. You, you look ahead and see what could happen to me and how can I prepare for it. You're not making anything better usually by combining with another person. You're just complicating things. So you're worried not only about your future, but their future. Things, th there's no net benefit. There really is no one to take care of you. That's the bottom line. You have to take care of you. You have to prepare for your final illness. You have to prepare for death, your retirement, all those things. You're just confusing things by trying to draw another person into it. Yes, you can interact with other people. You can enjoy the pleasure of the, of the company of other people, but don't expect them to take care of you. You are responsible for you, no one else.